Recording your screen is pretty straightforward, but having a video where you're showing your screen and your face at the exact same time can really add a personal touch that'll make your video stand out. There are several ways to do this, and in this video, I'm gonna show you three. So feel free to use the chapter markers to skip around, and with that said, let's get started. The first way is free, and this is if you are using a MacBook with a webcam. First, you're gonna open up QuickTime, and then you're gonna head on over to File, New Screen Recording. For me, New Screen Recording is grayed out because I'm actually already recording my screen to demo this to you. So once you click on New Screen Recording, you're gonna start recording your screen, and then you're gonna go back up to File, and then click on New Movie Recording. And this will pull up your webcam. So go ahead and position the camera wherever you want, and then once you have it where you want it, uh, go back up to view and then click on float on top and that will keep the camera on top of the windows so that when you're demoing whatever's on your screen, your camera will still be there wherever you put it. For me, obviously it's in the corner. So now I can go over here and go to a website and share my screen however I would want. The second way to record your screen and your face at the same time is to use a web-based tool called Loom. And because it's web-based, you could totally use this for either PC or Mac. In your Loom account, you'll see this big orange button, record a video, and when you hit that, you can select whether you wanna record your screen and your camera, your screen only, or your camera only. You can also select your sources here. And there's some other settings here, but on the free version of Loom, you do have a five minute limit. So that's just something to keep in mind. And uh, once you start recording, you just hit this button here and then you can select exactly what it's gonna record. Uh, I'll just do this application window here and it's gonna give you a countdown. So this is what the Loom video looks like. It just defaults to a circle in the corner and you can share your screen, obviously. Uh, Loom is actually primarily used as a video messaging platform. So once you're done recording a Loom video, it uploads straight to your Loom account and there's a link to it. So anyone with a link can watch that video. Uh, so I don't have to go to YouTube and now upload an unlisted video or anything. It just kind of does that automatically. And I use Loom all the time to support customers and clients. Like there's a lot of times where I just needed to show them really quick and having my camera and showing my face gives that personal touch. So I really, really like using Loom, but I don't like to use Loom if I'm recording a screen share tutorial. And the third way to record both your screen and your face at the same time is to use my favorite tool for YouTube right now called Ecamm Live. Ecamm Live is a Mac-based app that is primarily used for live streaming, but I use it for pre-recorded content, screen share tutorials, pretty much anything that has to do with YouTube video creation, I use Ecamm Live. I'll do another video where I break down Ecamm in more depth, but just for this video, I'm gonna show you how I use Ecamm to show both my face and screen share at the same time. So here's my desktop where I have Ecamm open and the browser that I wanna show in my screen share. And you'll see that I'm set to a default scene, which just has my mic and my camera facing me, but I'm going to switch to my share screen scene, which has the browser and then me in the bottom left corner here. But the cool thing with Ecamm is that it's like totally customizable. So I can drag myself wherever I want. I can resize everything. I can zoom out if I wanted to, because right now I'm uh, cropped in so I can, you know, make it angle it however I want. There's just so much more customization, which is why I love Ecamm so much, but it's also super simple to use. So if you wanna check out Ecamm Live, there is a link in the description underneath this video. They also do have a free trial. So definitely take advantage, get to know the program before you decide to buy, but I definitely do recommend it. With that said, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Head on over to these videos next, and if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Catch you guys later, bye.